What is going on guys? Welcome back to MG Marine Tech. Today we are going to be getting out on the water here. We got the one hooked up. We're going to be hitting a local lake here in a second to do a little bit of fishing, but I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. And how do you find the thermocline? What is it? That's what we're going to be covering today. So stick around, we'll dive right in. Before we jump out on the water, I want to briefly go over what exactly the thermocline is and why a lot of guys are looking for it. Long story short, the thermocline is where two different layers of water meet. The upper layer being the warmer water and the lower layer being the colder water. Now, why is this important? Later in the year, when this thermocline sets up, the lower portion of the water column or the colder portion of the water column is not as oxygen dense. Therefore, fish do not like to stay in it as much. Now, this isn't always the case, but it's typically a good starting point to kind of tell you of what depths you guys need to be fishing at. And it's typically above the thermocline where there is more oxygen in the water for these fish to thrive. Now, let's dive in, get out on the water and show you guys exactly what this thermocline will look like. We are finally on the water. I filmed the intro to this video several weeks ago when water temperatures were much higher. When I went out that day, the, uh, the thermocline was not set up. What I'm gonna be showing you guys today, a few weeks later from the intro, water temperatures have come down a little bit, but I am on a lake that has a lot less traffic on it, so the water's not being stirred up as much. So the thermocline is slightly there. It's starting to go away in my area, but it will still work for today's video. All right, guys, so these are the tools you are gonna to use to be finding your thermocline in your body of water. Traditional 2D and clear view seem to work the best for me. You can even find it on live scope as well as side imaging, but for the average person, these are the two that they're going to have handy. To do this, you need to keep a couple of things in mind. One, you want to be in roughly the deepest part of the lake or the basin of the lake so that you can scan the entire water column from surface to all the way down to the bottom. Now, say we are in 10 foot of water and the thermocline was set up in 30, obviously we wouldn't be able to see the thermoclines. Now, the other thing you are going to want to keep in mind is to remove all of the different types of filters. So, uh, you know, sonar setup, you're gonna wanna turn your TVG off, interference off on both your 2D and your down imaging or clear view. We have a picture here. Same thing again, I've showed you guys this in previous videos, 2D and down imaging showing the same exact picture just in two different types of uh, sonar. To find this thermocline, and you can just barely see it on the settings I currently have right now, so this is how I would typically fish. But to make this thermocline uh, much more uh, evident and obvious, you can go into your 2D and just start to up the gain. And as we up the gain, some things will happen. You'll start to see much more clutter down here, much more clutter down here. And then this line will start to form right about 20 feet. Now that right there is the thermocline. So everything above this line right here is warmer, much more oxygen dense water. Everything below this line is much cooler and less oxygen dense water. So as we drive around, the majority of the fish you will see will be in this 20 and less area. Now, same thing with your clear view or your down imaging. Go into here and go to your contrast. Just turn it on 100 and brightness, turn that on 100 too. And we are on 810 kilohertz. And once I put them side by side, you will see Again, that that line straight across 20 foot, that is the thermocline. I'm gonna throw up a couple more images or screenshots that will help you guys really see the thermocline. I'm gonna throw these screenshots up and you will see that in some cases, the thermocline is extremely obvious um, and very, very easy to pick out. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the thermocline what it is and how you find it. So if this video has helped you guys out, please hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on MG Marine Tech.